Deputy Minister of Sports, Arts and Culture, Notawe Mafu, recently handed over world-class multi-purpose sport court to Sikhawa Practicing School in Flagstaff. This facility, which was implemented by the Sports Trust, will act as a sporting hub in this community, creating opportunities for talent nurturing and helping to create champions amongst these school learners. We are at Sikhawa Practicing School, a very important school. You would remember uh, at some time in 2017 there were rural uh, sports that took place and, the, and this uh, was one of the, the team from this area was one of the teams that won. We have been going around the countries uh, handing over these sports facilities a bit late but obviously COVID happened and we are here at last handing I think one of the last for that tournament. We thought it's important that people must understand that Sport is not just about playing. Sport can play a critical role in building, you know, personalities, in building leadership, in building communities, and also making sure that in the process you have a better society. That's why we felt that let's combine this with the program that we are here doing. Silapa. Gezemizalo, Kuba itemba letu, Ndokba siyazo, Kuba ezemizalo, Zitata inakeba, Enkulu kwa kulu. Nenja sizo yenza na mtani, Iza chitimi. We are hosting the Netball World Cup in 2023 in South Africa. First time in Africa, and it will be in Cape Town from July until the 6th of August. 16 teams from the entire world will be uh, in, in Cape Town. South Africa has already qualified. But I always want to stress this. It is not a World Cup of South Africa. It is a World Cup for Africa. Because it's the first time that Africa is hosting this. And one of the exciting things is that on the Africa Games for the first time, which will be taking place in Ghana, netball is going to be part of the games that are going to be played. So it's growing. You can see netball is growing. And we are very excited about it because you will remember, it plays a very critical role, one, on young women, on actually making sure that sport, particularly women's sport, gets to be at the same level as any other sport. For us to have netball then being recognized at that level, it actually takes the women's sport to a certain level and we are very excited about that. What has been done to the community of Ngandulo today it, uh, it symbolizes that the government of the day does not uh, cater for all, be it at a rural or at the urban, because if you talk of this kind of uh, facility, it's a facilities that we've seen in urban areas, but uh, today you are able to see it in the most rural area, and you could see that you wouldn't expect such in these areas, but really appreciate because you could see that the children are very happy and the, very, the children in these areas are very active in sport, in different sport. And, uh, and as a result, because this area is, a uh, president has, 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 has noted that uh, all, most of campaigns must come here because of the rape uh, that has escalated in the whole country and the uh, issues of robbery. So issues of crime, uh, uh, relate uh, this area is uh, especially with Siki Siki because Flagstaff is under Igmusa, Hill municipality. So because of that, and the sport can play a ver various roles and measure also that the children can be busy, be it an amateur or professional sport. So we're hoping that because some of them are in these teams, uh, they be going to be professional and they are still on the amateur teams. We'll get, uh, tomorrow we'll be getting all those Naples players, soccer players, volleyball, and all those uh, that are in here because there are various sporting federation, uh, federations and sporting courts that the people in, the, in, the, in this area are busy with. Uh, our main responsibility is to coordinate sport in the province to make sure that there are structures and also there are programs in terms of leagues and other competitions so that at the end of the day there is a social cohesion. Because if ever you will let people play uncoordinated sport, that will mean there will be unfinished games where they will be fighting over 
whether the decision by the referees are correct or not. And we also facilitate in the training of the technical officials in terms of referees and umpires so that they can be able to interpret the rules and also train coaches so that the coaches can also pass the, 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 the tactics and uh, techniques to the players. Uh, the challenge that we are having so far is that budget is always a challenge and facilities is also always a challenge and we are grateful that uh, Department of Sport with Sports Trust uh, with the little they have they, they built such a good and most high standard facilities. So far we are happy that at least the people happen to understand the role of the Sports Confederation from the level of Sasko down to the level of the Sports Forum in their locality. And they will call us to come and intervene where there is a, maybe a bit of a, a, a areas that there is no clarity. And out of that, we try to, 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 to capacitate them so that they can understand because at the end of the day, everybody has to come and go. The school and the children, the staff, everyone, even the community at large is very excited and happy about the sports facility because it's going to be helping a lot of people. This place has been used for years as a centre for, for hosting sports codes and then we didn't even have a proper playground. And now we are proud, we are proud and happy that now when we are hosting, they'll be able to come to a proper place which is not uh, available in, uh, in, the, in other neighboring schools and it's gonna be attracting more children to come to our school. The children love it, they enjoy it. Even the community, I'm sure they are very happy about it. So it's gonna be helping us with a lot with discipline. Uh, sports prevents uh, children from getting involved in crime, getting involved in drugs, and it helps a lot with discipline. So we're not going to be having more thieves and uh, more drug abuse. We're going to be having children who are going to be well disciplined and well organized. People who, who, are, who will be confident because sports does build confidence. And they'll be very confident because they know that they can show their talents. Children are gifted in many ways. There are those who are gifted only in reading and writing, but there's also those who are very gifted in sports. So this facility here is going to help them to, to uplift to uplift them and to grow them, to grow into proper sports people. Maybe we'll even have a professional sports person, netball player, coming from this ground one day. It has always been our hope that we should have something like this. So we're really, really very happy about it. Confit. They're confident and uh, I feel uh, happy. Cool, so that I go go ba go ba. I should be the guest in Changenga. I think this court is more comfortable than the grass because there are many sports that need to be played in this court. The multi-purpose sports court offers five sports on one court, namely five-a-side soccer, netball, basketball, volleyball, and tennis. It is eco-friendly, zero waste, and is low maintenance, and the learners can play sport 365 days of the year on the surface. It has a lifespan of 20 years and a 15-year warranty. We always want to appreciate the role that is played by the Sports Trust in, as, as our implementing agent because when we have to go to communities and build this multi-purpose facility, Sports Trust always come to the you know to the seat and they always make sure that they do it right on time. If we say to them, we want it ready in six weeks time, it's ready in six weeks time. We put pressure on Sports Trust, but they always deliver. And we really, really want to say to you, we might not say this all the time, 
but we appreciate the relationship that we have with you. Thank you ever so much because you actually make us shy. Everybody thinks it's us, Sports Trust implement, we come, we deliver, and department shines because you're doing the work very well. Thank you so much. The Sports Trust helps to enhance education through sport and acts as an implementation partner on behalf of its trustees and stakeholder donors. The Trust's mandate is to ensure that all South Africans, especially those living in previously disadvantaged areas, remain physically active and have access to safe quality sports facilities.